Hi, we are the uh, North Country Peace Group, some members of the North Country Peace Group and of Veterans for Peace Long Island. We uh, just came from a much larger demonstration. There were about 60 of us at Jones Beach. And our purpose is to remind people of the real meaning of Memorial Day. It's to mourn those who have uh, been lost in war and to do what we can to help to prevent further wars. We feel that what the Bethpage Credit Union has done and the other sponsors is they've really glorified war by having the air show. We don't think that it should be presented as entertainment to watch fighter jets, fighter jets flying through the sky. And, you know, it really trivializes violence. The recruiting stations there were very, very misleading. We distributed many leaflets there as well. We object to the, you know, blown up balloons of the G.I. Joe soldiers and all this and that and the kids games that they have to entice children to have an interest in joining the military. And we just think the Memorial Day again is a time for people to, to mourn. It's a solemn occasion. It's not something where they should be glorifying the weapons of war and trivializing the seriousness of war itself and violence. And we're here to express to the Bethpage Federal Credit Union and to its members that we urge them not to sponsor something like this again. How uh, well was your earlier demonstration received by the public? We thought it went really well. We uh, spent about two hours reading the names of the war dead. As you know, there are thousands. And um, we distributed leaflets. We stood there with flags. And we uh, people would stop, and they would talk to us. And it was you know, very gratifying that people were interested. Is today your first uh, visit demonstrating against the war, or do you have an ongoing program? The North Country Peace Group, every week, and we've done this for about eight years now, demonstrates on a corner in Setauket, usually 15 or 20 of us, and uh, we're there every single week. And then there are many other groups, Veterans for Peace in Long Island, and Pax Christi Long Island, and the South Country Peace Group, and the Suffolk Peace Network, and Code Pink Long Island. Uh, t these groups and some others joined together for uh, the demonstration at Jones Beach, and we often have other demonstrations at different points in the year, and we work together in organizing and participating in those as well. How can someone or anyone who's interested in joining your organization or participating in your demonstration, how are they able to reach you? They can email us at ncpeacegroup.com at gmail.com. That's short for North Country Peace Group, ncpeacegroup.g at gmail.com. And we'd be happy to provide them information. We could provide them a statement of our beliefs that we have that explains just what we believe and why we are there. And uh, Veterans for Peace Long Island has an excellent website. It's www.vfpli.com. I believe that Beth Page uh, Bank should have a uh, meeting with its shareholders soon. Are you thinking about uh, advertising or pushing to lift or drop off information or testifying before them to get involved on the peace side? I think that it's a good idea and it's, you know, one of the things that we're going to have to talk about and decide which direction to go with. This is a major issue in my mind. It brings me back to what uh, President Eisenhower said, that we should be wary of the military-industrial complex. We have so many corporations that make so much money off of war that I think that contributes to our inclination to go to war and to not look for ways to avoid war, to be able to solve problems other ways or to correct the various problems that contribute to war and lead to war. You know, war really, really builds corporate profit. and. The war machine is just so vast that I think that's just a huge influence that we, we have to address. You know, the old saying goes, you know, if the only tool in your toolbox is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. And I think, you know, we have so much in the way of weaponry, and it's one of the reasons that we're so concerned about the Bethpage Air Show, because it glorifies that. It makes it as if the weapons should be used as entertainment. It's fun. Isn't this just glorious, watching them fly through the sky, forgetting that so many of these planes are fighter planes that are, whose purpose is to kill people. And when we trivialize it like that, we're that much more inclined to have wars. And I think that's just a shame. And 
you know, we hope to help to move our country in a different direction to a more peaceful way to resolve problems. Uh, you indicated that the businesses or the corporations are making huge profits. Uh, are they sharing it with the people or are they keeping it for themselves? Well, these are private corporations. You know, there's one on Long Island, the BAE Corporation, that is one of the world's largest manufacturers of uh, the weapons of war. They manufacture drones and, you know, other planes that are used in wars. And uh, we just think that it's just a shame. We would like to see these companies building things that are just good for society instead of building things that are used to kill people. And if they didn't make so much money from doing this, we think that there'd be a lot less chance that we would be involved in war as much as we are. Thank you again. Um, <clears throat> several of us belong to the North Country Peace Group. Uh, we have been, we are a grassroots organization. We have been demonstrating in Setaket, uh, east of uh, Nichols on 25A, since for the last eight years, every Saturday from 11 to 12. We are, <clears throat> um, we wanted to uh, let people know that there is other ways to solve conflict. War is not the answer to it. Um, <clears throat> we, are, we have been um, <clears throat> very, very consistent in our uh, position th throughout this year. And, uh, and simultaneously, we, th we think that uh, the last um, <clears throat> disaster in, in, in the Gulf is also is, in, is correspond to our, to our position at peace. The, the, the need of, of oil and exploitation of natural resources has goes hand in hand with uh, the desire of solving conflict through war. If we can stop uh, war, we will be able to perhaps reduce our need for for gasoline and will increase our respect for uh, <clears throat> of uh, of nature and. Uh, and will allow us to maintain uh, our standard of living and uh, and <clears throat> and, uh, and contribute to the betterment of more and more members of this of the society. Out that um, <clears throat> we we forget that we have uh, enormous difficulties. <laughs> it's not only unemployment. It's, it's not only um, <clears throat> the, um, the mortality rate, the lack of, uh, of health for, for our citizens, it's the, uh, the, the, the poverty that affects so many, so many of us. And, and when we, we argue that uh, we need to improve their life, the answer always is we don't have resources, we don't have money. We, we cannot do it. And simultaneously, at the same time, the Congress just approved 60 billion more dollars for the war in Afghanistan and, and Iraq. And so where, where is the, the, the firmness? Where, where, what it means to be patriotic if our own citizens are suffering and we are spending all this money and and, and they, they, they argue that they are <clears throat> helping the Af Af Afghans and the Iraqis. But I, I, for what I read in the paper, many of them are being killed. More and more civilians are killed. And, and those countries are being bombed and destroyed. So I just wonder where, where, where is the rationality of all that? Don't we, don't we, our citizens deserve to be taken care of, to take, to be helped, and and uh, our children don't need to be helped and educated. So I, 
I just wonder what is what is happening. Where, why are going this way? Thank you. You know, the Bethpage Federal Credit Union provides a service to Long Island, and obviously it's a service that's worthwhile and necessary. But when I look at them using their profits, uh, thousands and thousands of dollars, and using them to bring in what basically are war machines, planes, um, and, and ships that that you know are, are built and used to hurt and kill and maim, I would think Bethpage Federal Credit Union might have a better use for that kind of money. Perhaps they can invest that money in our schools and help our children uh, learn, uh, invest that in, in maybe building conflict resolution programs in schools, maybe building community, helping schools develop more community service projects for kids, uh, maybe using that money to invest in helping children work so they can go to college. That would be a much more worthwhile use of the thousands of dollars that Beth Page wants to invest in our community. So I'm here today because I think they should be thinking along those lines. Now, I know they probably do other community service projects, but there are literally an incredible amount of money that they invested, you know, to bring the, the military onto Jones Beach. And while we all respect our military and know it's necess necessary, um, the show that they're putting on today is not a show designed to help people understand the horror of war and how important it is to build peace. Those machines that they're profiling down at the beach today are more likely to excite and interest and, and, and build some kind of sense in many children and many kids this glory that might be waiting them in the military. And I would hope that Bethpage Federal Credit Union and their board of directors rethink their involvement next year. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Take care. Have some, some success.